How's it going, guys? I've been enjoying lots of saddle time on my new little Honda CRF 300, exploring all the, the lanes of Cornwall. And I thought I'd share three little lanes I, I recommend. Uh, none of them are too challenging, none of them are too difficult, but, you know, depending on how what bike you've got and how muddy they are. But either way, they're three nice little lanes, uh, all legal, all part of the uh, Tet in, here in Cornwall. Uh, and yeah, I recommend giving them a, a go if you don't already know them. So first one is a pretty famous one, is uh, Lamb Brigan. Uh, and that's, that comes out um, near Perrinporth, so a little bit below uh, Newquay. And yeah, it starts off very sort of flat and very, very muddy, depending on how much rain we've had recently. Then it starts to descend into this little sort of a uh, channel, which is quite lumpy, and your back, your wheels will scoot around a little bit. And then you've got a little bit of a S bend, and then you're a little mini river crossing, and then you're pretty much out. So you're quite a short little run, but um, it's always fun, and especially if it's really muddy going uphill and your back wheel just, you know, spinning out and all the rest of it. As per usual, GoPro footage, you never really never really see the uh, the hill it was everything just looks flat doesn't it in the gopro but um just here is where i um uh turn my abs off and that's where i'm sort of that's where the, the descent uh goes it's not like super steep but it's steep enough that you know you need to use your brakes basically Next one, this is a, uh, it's just a bit of a, um, uh, it's very simple this one, but it's just a little section near Hollywell. Uh, you end up near uh, Crantock, oh basically when you come out at the, at, the, at the other end. You've got Hollywell Bay to your left, um, which is a really pretty little spot. So I, I, I often stop there and fly my drone. This is what that looks like from the drone. But anyway, it's just a, a very simple little, little um, run. It's just nice that it's open. The vast majority of Cornish lanes are down little, you know, bushes either side, very sort of claustrophobic. And uh, yeah, it's just nice that this is open and it's it's sandy as well. The grass can be super slippy when it's when it's wet, but generally a lot of the actual trail is, is sand. So you get a sort of a, you know, it's generally pretty okay. grippy year round. You do get a lot of walkers here. So yeah, give them a bit of space. Obviously we don't wanna, you know, we don't wanna give bikers a bad name. Um, but either way, it's just a nice area to have a, a little lane, you know, so sort of close to the sea and everything, so you get views as you're as you're heading across. But yeah, very simple, very easy. Only a couple of little little drops and sort of holes here and there to watch out for, but nothing difficult. Pretty much any any bike can make it across here.
And then the last one. So this is on the southern side of the Tet, and this is uh, near Bissau. There's a, a little uh, lake called Wheel Baden, and it's just just to the just either side of that, basically. And yeah, it goes along a sort of long, sort of rutty, wallowy, whoopy kind of flat section that can get very muddy and very slippy. Uh, so treat it with respect and it, it's kind of sort of off camera as well so your wheels might want to sort of wash out to one side just because the whole sort of trail is leaning a little bit And then you go downhill in this like nice sort of um, S bend shape uh, near a couple of properties. So don't be too loud or too you know too fast near the properties, obviously. Okay. You have this little sort of like um, stopping point halfway down where you get a bit of, bit of a view and quite a few of the Enduro riders and everything just fly down this here. It's too much for me, it's way too steep, but either way it's a nice little, nice little sort of a halfway stopping point to get a picture or what have you. Uh, and then it carries on and you basically end up on the uh, the Bisso bike trail, but it's all part of you know the legal, legal, legal byway, so you're allowed to ride this bit. Whoa. Yeah, so I just thought I'd share these three little little runs. It's like I said, nothing too challenging, uh, but if you're into your green lanes and you know you're this kind of stuff, uh, and you don't know about these, it's probably worth checking out each one of these because yeah, depending on the conditions, it, they do they've all got a little bit of um, you know variation to them, uh, and they're just not nice little runs. They're, I always tend to we we make lots of uh, you know circles and, and loops from various different byways uh, around Cornwall and we often include these ones into like other routes just because they're like a fun little little bit like I said not too challenging not not so easy that it's boring and generally everyone tends to enjoy them you can go up down either e any of them none of them are particularly difficult either way so yeah I just thought I'd share these these three little trails uh, that I've been enjoying um, recently amongst lots of others obviously anyway peace out guys and I hope that's useful bye